The Bible teaches that modesty is important for both men and women. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9 through 10, Paul says, I also want women to dress modestly, with decency and propriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds, appropriate for women who profess to worship God. He goes on to say in verse 11 that a woman's adornment should be not with outward adornment. The problem with immodesty is that it can be a distraction to both men and women. It can cause us to focus on the wrong things and it can cause us to objectify each other. When we dress modestly, we are more likely to be seen as people and not as objects. What is up everybody? It's your girl Sawyer. You already know the vibes. And today we are doing a very exciting video. It's very exciting for me personally, maybe not so much for you, but I'm very excited to do this video. I am basically be cleaning out my entire wardrobe. I have a ton of clothes in my drawers as well. I'm going to be donating and trying to sell most of my clothes because I literally do not wear maybe like three quarters of my entire wardrobe and I'm honestly tired of having a whole bunch of clothes that I just do not wear and I have a hard time letting go of things, materialistic things, so we're definitely going to be working on that. What do you guys think about the look? I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I got a little slick back do, my hair is all curly. I put a little makeup on, you see the lashes. Yes, girl, okay, 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 okay. Anywho, let's get into this video. I'm just gonna go through and literally pick out things that I do not wear and we're gonna throw the things that I don't wear in a pile because I want to show y'all how many clothes that I have that I'm going to be giving away because it's I'm already knowing how ridiculous it is see and then I'm like I never wear these but I'm like I, I know I could wear these like I know I could wear these but I don't ever wear these but I keep them just in case there comes a time that I will wear these but I never wear them and so they're always at the bottom and I literally just forget about them I mean there's nothing even wrong with these why don't I wear these? See, these are my problem. I'm gonna keep them. We're not gonna be doing that often. This color, I, I don't wear color. I literally do not wear color at all. These are definitely, you know, getting rid of those. I do wear those. I never wear these. Like, I never wear... <laughs> these are shorts. No way. Okay, I just finished with all my pants and then I'm gonna move to the closet. I look literally like a midget right now. Is this what I look like every day when I pick up? All right, so this is the pile of clothes that I have going on right now. I have so many random things in here and now I'm going to separate the pile from clothes that I'm going to give away and clothes that I'm going to take to try to sell them. I just came back from Plato's closet and they only took five items but for 20 bucks which means and I've got two items and I didn't have to pay for anything and then I got three dollars back that was probably really confusing but yeah so now I have four bags that I need to donate I'm at one thrift store right now and then I'm gonna go to a different one after this or maybe another one after that favorite thrift stores because you have to like dig but it's fun because thrifting is not fun unless you're like you have to find good things y'all this is literally so cute look at this but then look it stayed we made it to the dressing room i picked the one with the best lighting just for you i found three books so my cart is literally so full right now this is everything that I found, so I'm gonna try everything on. Look at 
at how cute this is. This is the shacket. <sighs> Stop right now. This is so adorable. This is what it looks like. I'm this. Okay, I'm a little indecisive with this. Do we like it? Oh, no. One thing my stepmom told me was if you love it at the store, you'll love it at home, and if you don't love it at the store, you're not gonna love it at home. So, we don't love it. Y'all! Yeah. I've been looking for pants like this for so long. Look at how perfectly they fit on the bottoms. This is literally a masterpiece. And they have holes. Honestly, not to sound conceited or anything, but I cannot get over the way that I look right now because I just look so different than what I ever usually look like. Like I have makeup on, my hair is slicked back. I never do a slicked back look ever. I have glasses on, like, I don't know. I'm just, I feel very confident in myself and it's a very good day for me to feel confident. So I'm on my way to go to the last thrift store that I want to go to before I'm done. Anyway, let's jam out. You guys can get a sneak peek at some of my top indie Christian hits. If you guys don't know what indie Christian is, I honestly, I don't know either, but I know that it's a genre and I know that it's the genre that I listen to and that I love. Let me put you on to some fire music. God don't make mistakes. What about me? What about me? You're the Y'all, this song right here hits so different. Y'all just need to listen to the lyrics. Lost in a world, video screens. Famous is all we wanna be. That's good to be mom. So we make ourselves a clone. What's all this living for? Linda, listen. They don't even care about me. They don't even really know me. We're all crowded but acting lonely. I want people who don't want me. They don't even care about me. They don't even really know me. We're all crowded but acting lonely. I want people who don't want me. Guys, today feels so relieving to me because for so long I have been wanting to actually change things in my life and I've been changing things in my life, but I think a big thing is clothes and fashion and it is a really, 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 really big thing to present yourself in a way that you want to be presented. So as a Christian, I should not be presenting myself in crop tops, booty shorts. I should not be presenting myself in revealing clothes. Not only for myself and not for the image of myself, but also because I'm also putting bad thoughts in other people's minds and they're being tempted because of maybe how I'm dressing. So that's also why I have completely changed how I dress going to the gym. I no longer dress in overly revealing clothes. I don't wear crop tops, like real, real tight crop tops and spandex or tight leggings or whatever. I don't wear any of that stuff anymore because I don't want, I don't want anybody else in the gym to be tempted just because of, or, or, or I don't want anybody in the gym to have lustful thoughts just because of what I'm wearing. I don't want to put anybody in that position because then I'm just feeding into their sinful desires and their lustful thoughts and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing as a Christian not only for people that I don't even know but also for my boyfriend because that's not that's not what God intends for me as a woman to do and it's not what God intends for any man as well I don't think modesty is talked about enough and I don't think people shed light on it enough because that is a really big thing and it it affects a lot of our mental, not only for the temptations of other people based on what 
I or we are wearing, but also it puts an image in my mind of I need to dress this way, I need to look this way. I'm speaking for all my Christian women out there because Men, I don't know what y'all go through. I don't know what you guys think sometimes, but I can only speak for Christian women and I'm just I'm just trying to shed light just on a Christian woman because we are called as women to be God-fearing women and it is very 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 attractive. I have become so much more attracted to myself because of how God-fearing I have become. Like I feel like I look how I feel. If that makes sense. Like I feel like I look like I I'm very confident in myself. I am loving myself. I am, I like, I just, I hope that when I walk around that people look at me and they're like, mm, something's different about her. Not because of how I look, but because of how I carry myself because God is in me, if that makes sense. So anyway, we're done with that little pep talk. I'm at Goodwill now and um, yeah, this is the last stop. show you guys the things that I got from the thrift store today real quick first I got this jacket the one that I tried on that I showed y'all it's so cute it's very neutral color too so I definitely know I'm gonna be wearing this let me let y'all in a little secret I only wear black things so everything else is in black first we have I'm in love with these these are American Eagle skinny jeans and they have rips in them literally when I tell you like they fit like so perfectly they fit like what do they say fit like a glove <laughs> but even better than a glove you know what I'm saying and then I showed you guys these two another pair of American Eagle jeans but they're mom jeans is that what they, you call them what kind of jeans are these even called let's see I don't even know but they're literally the exact kind of jeans that I've been looking for I kind of have a pair like this but these fit times better and then I got another pair of flare yoga pants and then I got another yoga uh, shirt type thing, athletic shirt. I have two of these. One is the same length as this, the other one is cropped. This is a different kind of material. This is Patagonia, first of all. Like, I've always wondered why Patagonia was so expensive. I understand now. And the last thing that I got is this. This fits literally amazing as well. It's this airy, long sleeve, black t-shirt it's like a blanket yeah i'm so excited we're going to reorganize my entire wardrobe okay girl yes ma'am video if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on post notification bell that way you guys are always notified whenever i upload my new content every single monday at 12 p.m i do not miss i had so much fun my closet and my wardrobe is definitely not done but i am so happy that i just have minimized the amount of clothes that i have to what i actually would wear and i love the clothes that i got today and i'll probably just start getting little pieces here and there and then it'll collect into a wardrobe of what I actually want instead of going on a shopping spree just because I want to get clothes if that makes sense. That's why I didn't get a lot today because I didn't want to force myself to get a lot of things and I genuinely love shopping at thrift stores. I really hope that any of my women out there take modesty seriously and especially the way that you present yourself and the clothing you wear and all that it is a big deal and I really hope that I could shed some light on that and kind of bring that awareness to you as a woman so i'll see you guys in my next video